So the 19th of January was chosen for St. Ewan's Day because that is the day when he walked on water. What was the inspiration for St. Ewan's Day? Well, initially it came from a dream. It was a mystical dream and I knew it was a mystical dream because there was this kind of clanard sort of, you know, that sort of etheric Celtic kind of soundtrack going in the background. And the, uh, the dream character was this sort of cross between Gandalf, Mystery Morrison, a total mystic, you know, all the way. And he recited this poetry to me. It was quite profound. It was just so profound and powerful that I woke up straight after it and scribbled it all down as best as I could and put it away in my special box where I keep my um, uh, poetry, I wrote a lot of poetry. And then I forgot about it until I went on a pilgrimage and it wasn't until I went to Nainai where it all came back to me. It's a dream come true to come here to Nainai. This is the Mecca for 80s cricket. This is the home of the Nainai Express. You and Chatfield, soak it up. This is it. So, rumor has it on the pilgrimage tour that this is where um, Ewan Chatfield washed his whites with a brown towel, created the beige. The whole beige movement, uh, the design of the costume, started here in Nainai. So not a lot of people know that, so just another little fact. Sir, can I just ask you a quick question? Have you heard of you and Chatfield? Yes. The Nine Express. The Nine Express. Yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're coming to Nine Okay. It's a pilgrimage yeah. to see where the Nine Express comes the from. Nine Express used to drink down there at that Nine Hotel, and his really? club rooms were over there. Everybody knows the Nine Express. Trust yes. me. Yes, you and Chatfield. He's the man. He's the man. Yep. <laughs> oh, amazing. So this is the um, hustle, the bustle, Nai Nai, international, luggage. Olympic, sports, yeah, yeah, he was all ready to go. Um, just they didn't have it in the Olympics, which was a bit annoying for all of us. This mural is very much inspired by Ewan Chatfield, not directly, but just in its um, poetic movement, the dance, the vibrancy. It's pretty much all here. It's called Dadils, which I think um, in, in, a, in a one language is translated as Ewan. I'm just going to ask these guys a question. Hey guys, excuse me guys, yeah. have you heard of Ewan Chatfield? Chatfield. Ewan Chatfield. Oh no, nah, I, mean, I, yeah. I, I don't know nothing about cricket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, they drink it, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right arm over the wicket. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you should do it, man. Should do it. Cool. See ya. You too. So it was, uh, even though we are in the, the heart of Nainai, in the Nainai Express, it sends me that, that, like you saw then, kids don't know who you and Chatfield is. They live here. Um, 
He's everywhere, but they don't know. And it made me really realize, you know, what are we teaching our kids at school? You know, they should know about this important part of our history, our culture, which is the times of the 80s times. And so that was one of the main reasons why I felt compelled to start this day, St. Ewan's Day. So that's why I brought you here to Nai Nai, to just experience what it's about, the feel from ground zero, the power. And now I'm going to read the poetry that was handed to me through that mystical dream that I talked about earlier in, in the dream time bit. And so this is what came to me from that mystic guy. When the sacred day comes around, the golden glow of past seasons are found, the warmth of summer's sun reborn to fill the sacred pitch and lawn. The days of glory again redrawn in the sacred white of beige adorn. Rejoice, my friends, and wear with pride the mantle of the 80s side. For summer no longer lies in wait and tells tales of cricket old and great. The time we all rejoice and play. This is the splendor of St. Ewan's Day. The night watchman of winter has retired and light of summer now inspires. The wicked man has now been seen amongst the nets and the green. The great Excalibur shall be wielded once more to smash our foes beyond the shores. Let us recount or watch on VHS the sagas of those days we bless and reenact in the backyard play and rejoice once more in St. Ewan's Day. It's St. Ewan's Day! Yay! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, This is another special spot. These four trees here, boom, 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 planted in commemoration of his first four wickets playing for New Zealand. Pow! Excuse me, mate, have you. Uh, we're doing a little um, documentary about you and Chatfield, and I heard that you and Chatfield had some memorabilia in your shop is that yeah you you know you you in Chatfield yeah the famous um, yeah. the famous uh, New Zealand cricketer yeah the Nine Eye Express yeah I'll bring it out I just I just had a sense I had a feeling Richard Hadley, because um, that's pretty special. Yeah, it is special. Because um, Richard Hadley, the, the divine coupling, Richard Hadley and Ewan Chapfield. Mm, yeah. Yeah, special. Um, Cricket memorabilia. Plus, it's a, it's a, um, a good friend of his come in and told me to keep it for a while, you know. How much would that go for? We're not sure, but it's up there in price. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll bet. <laughs> so a lot of people think, oh, well, Nine Eye, you know, it's it's... What are you talking about? It's a backwater, it's nothing. But you know, to me it's it's a pretty special place. It's a it's a humble place for a humble hero. Yeah. Whew. Emotional. I don't know if I can talk anymore, man. Yeah, Mark, sorry, I'll just Yeah. 
Yeah, so we are here in the Aravelli Historical Institute of Historical Histories, and this is where I made some startling discoveries about St. Ewan's Day that I hadn't known of when I embarked on this quest. And uh, actually in this book, um, ranked, funnily enough, number 11 out of 1001 questions, was this information. St. Ewan's Day, Yuans, as they say in, uh, in the, by the ancient Celts, uh, was celebrated in the um, mid-January in summer, and the Druids would gather around, and they actually prophesied the coming of Ewan Chatfield. Obviously, this was hidden in various metaphorical poems and songs and um, gestures, but I was able to read between the lines, and it was pretty obvious they were talking about Ewan Chatfield. Buddhism and many other religions emphasize the middle road. They talk about consistency, and this is embodied with line and length, and always fighting against adversity, um, bowling into the wind, for instance, uphill, um, and the sacred number of the 80s uh, is aligned with the everlasting over, symbol, symbolic of the snake holding the earth. But there's many other symbolic um, deities within this period. For instance, um, Lance Kens, uh, the folk hero some of you may have heard of, uh, is symbolic of the scales of justice wielded by the mighty Excalibur. Um, Martin Crow represents beauty and geometry in the natural world. Uh, John Wright, with his upheld batting style, um, facing the might of the West Indies pace attack, um, opening the batten, batting represents bravery and quick action. You know, these traditions run deep and all these, quali these deities have qualities which we can all take on and learn from. Interesting discovery here at the Historical History Research Institute of Historical Histories. Um, comfortable furniture too, it's quite good. Had a little snooze after I read that in the afternoon. So, yeah, 1001 facts. It's all factual factoids, yeah? So what we're, what we're building here is a, is, a, is a new day to celebrate and remember the golden era of when giants walked the land. The amazing coupling of Richard Hadley and Ewan Chapfield. So we've anointed the 19th of January to be the celebration of this day, to remember and to rejoice. This is going to be St Ewan's Day. Oh, hold on. So how do we celebrate St. Ewan's Day? Well, it's a day to remember our heroes. But on this day, you are the hero. That's right. You get up in the morning, you adorn yourself in your best backyard cricket style and fashion like I'm wearing right now. Or you wear your creams, your whites, or your beige. And you go to work, or go to the calf, whatever you're doing. But you go with pride, and you play cricket. So it's about getting out there, playing cricket. You can either play in your backyard, or in the office, or in the corridor. Maybe in the street, in the bus, in the bus stop. But you play cricket with your family, with your friends, with your grandparents. And we dress up and we have fun. And you can even say the St. Ewan's Day prayer at the start of the day, just to get into the spirit, get into the mood. And, um, and it's a celebration. It's a day of remembrance and a day that we rejoice. That is the essence of St. Ewan's Day. Remember and rejoice, for it is St. Ewan's Day.